guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler, thanks for stopping by. Tonight we got another review. And uh, this is gonna be another beer from Sycamore. This is gonna be Fantasy Land. I said that kind of weird, Fantasy Land. Uh, 7% alcohol by volume. Really colorful label here. Um, so yeah, we've reviewed three or four beers from Sycamore. Uh, who's out of Raleigh, I believe. Oh, Charlotte, sorry. Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, they do some pretty solid stuff. Uh, this one says, Fantastical flavor... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Fantastical flavorliciousness awaits. Neon citrus, smooth pina colada, and provocative tropical fruits are already a party and you're invited to. So I'm going to have to guess that there might be some um, Sabro in here. Uh, canned on May 12th, so just right over a month old, and it says, as we live a life of ease, every one of us has all we need. So, let's go ahead and crack this open. Let's get this in a glass. This thing's pretty warm, too. It's been, I just got it, actually, like an hour ago. And I just put it in the fridge when I got home for like 10 minutes and then it was in the cooler section at the uh, store. So, but it's already pretty warm. So, um, really nice looking actually. Uh, it's a very creamy, murky looking gold color. Uh, I guess like a light gold, almost like a straw um, to that degree. Fluffy two finger head. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see it on there, but there's a little bit of a little bit of sediment in there floating around, but I never hurt anybody. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Oh yeah, it smells pretty nice actually. It definitely has a pina colada vibe going on. Coconut, pineapple. Almost reminds you a little bit of the little ices that you used to get, uh, at least around here, I'm assuming. A lot of places did it, you know, comes around, sells ICs off the little truck. Kind of reminds me of that. It does have a bright uh, citrusy aroma to it as well. Like almost like a fresh squeezed, like pulpy orange. Even a little bit of like a, um, I don't know, like a Tropicana orange juice. A little bit of like an earthy grassiness. Maybe even a little peach in there. It smells nice though. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Yeah, not bad. A little less impactful on the palate than it was on the nose. It does have a nice creamy texture to it though. Very pillowy, very soft. Um, very light carbonation as well. Yeah, very light carbonation. You get a little bit of that pina colada vibe, but I think more on this one is the or what's more um, overshadowing, I guess, is the citrus. Uh, it's got a light um, citrusy, like orange note. Mm. Maybe that pina colada does, like the coconut kind of flavor does come through a little more than I first noticed on that initial taste. I don't know, I mean, it, it follows the nose pretty well, but it's not as, uh, I don't know, I thought it was going to come across a lot more um, impactful, I guess is the best word to use, or, or just, you know, flavorful, I guess. Like, it's got a little bit of, like, a thin, like, it is, okay, I'm getting all over the place. Um, like I said, it's creamy, it's soft, but it's not in that, like, fuller body type way. Like, it comes across like that, but it's still kind of light for what it is. No bitterness on this one. I mean, the bitterness is just tucked away. Drinkability, it's its super drinkable. Um, 
not picking up a bit of that 7% uh, alcohol. Like I said, no bitterness, light carbonation, soft mouthfeel, light bodied. Somewhere in between light and medium body. I mean, it's really tasty, actually. You know, I think it's as advertised. You know, pina colada and tropical. I mean, I'm getting more citrus with that pina colada, but definitely comes across tropical. It's got a nice little bready malt backbone to it. I don't really have any complaints on this one. I mean, I really don't. Like, I guess if I had a nitpick, I would just say, just pump up all these flavors just a little bit. And uh, I think we would have something pretty pretty freaking tasty. It already is tasty, but I think we'd have something a little bit more tasty. Hmm. It's good beer. It goes down easy. I see no issues in finishing this one. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, also, before I forget, let's go ahead and do a rating. Um, I don't know what this is getting right now. We'll go ahead and pull it up. Uh, but before I pull it up, I'll go ahead and say, I think for me, I'm going to give it 375. Um, I think that's fair. It's above average. Uh, let's go ahead and see. So, Fantasyland. So it's getting a 3.87. Uh, from Untapped, and I've had one friend, Kevin Kelly, um, has checked it in. He rated it a four. So they do some pretty solid stuff. I'm really happy that we get their uh, beers around here. I don't know if how new they are, but I've only been seeing their stuff for the last I don't know three or four months or so, something like that. And uh, I think they do some really solid stuff, so I'm happy to continue trying their beers and, and see what they have to offer. So, uh, yeah, 375 for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to let me know what you're drinking on tonight. I always love to hear from you guys. And um, also, if you like what I'm doing, consider hitting that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.